Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Tormentum Dark Sorrow. This is a point and click game I recently came across solely based on the art style of the game. Like a lot of it is inspired by like H.R. Geiger, like the kind of like the alien-esque, like dark, gothic, creepy, disturbing imagery and themes. And from what I saw from the screenshots, it looked amazing. I'm like, okay, it's a, it's a point and click game. Hell yeah. I, I kind of, I, let's say I kind of love them. I, uh, if it's done well, like, I can really enjoy point and click games. And this one, I'm, I figured, like, it'll be kind of nice to do. So, uh, yeah, Tormentum. This is going to be a blind LP as well. Hopefully, it won't be bad, though, because considering it's point and click. But, uh, if there's any point that I come across where I don't know what the hell I'm doing, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out until I figure out what I know what I'm doing. So, let's go ahead and just get started. I, I hopefully the frame rate won't be too bad. Like, apparently sometimes it locks at 30, sometimes it doesn't. It goes a little bit slower. Um, I don't know what else to do. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. By Emmanuel Kant. Okay. First there was darkness, then I slowly opened my eyes. I felt a strong wind and the floor below felt like it was moving. I realized that I was not on the ground. I was high above the clouds, locked like an animal in a metal cage attached to a flying machine. Next to me there was another cage with another prisoner inside. That's one weird, one weird way to wake up and you're like a rat? <laughs> Hello stranger. I see they didn't come just for me. They came to my house at night and locked me in this cage. I worry about my family. They're out there all by themselves. They come when the sky begins to cry fiery tears. They are said to take only those marked by evil. They use their airships to transport them to their castle, and nobody returns from there. They arrived in our land a long time ago. It's ironic that our ancestors helped them to raise their castle here. Nobody in their worst nightmares could have foreseen their plans. I don't deserve this. I'm not evil. I've always led my, the life of a simple hunter, doing what I could to feed my family. Wait, I feel the machine descending. We'll reach the castle soon. My head swirls with questions concerning my current situation. Was being here some kind of punishment? What did they want from me? I don't know. Apparently that rat said that they take people marked with evil or... Something, so what's up? What the hell did you do? Contrary to my companion, I don't remember anything. My mind can only recall the image of a strange sculpture atop a mountain. In my mind, I can see stone hands reaching towards the sky. Between them stands a statue of a woman. I do not know what this place was, but sub subconsciously. Wait. Subconsciously feel I must find it. Okay, I, I thought he was gonna say felt. First, though, I had to get out of this terrifying place. The airship lands in a courtyard inside a castle. Guards in horned helmets drag me to a cell inside a castle tower. After a while, one of them returns and speaks to me. The music's pretty awesome, too. But, oh my god, look at the imagery as is! Look at that guy! Some guy from, like, that's like a Final Fantasy or Dark Souls type right there. Foul being, soon you will suffer the pain of torture. This place will purge you from all evil hatch within your bowels. You. As long as clay is being formed in the hands of the potter, anything is possible. We can still reform your corrupt soul in spite of the deeds I have shaped it in the past. Your fate is not yet sealed. Remember, the dagger of destiny has two edges. On one side there is torture, and the other is yourself. You may think nothing depends on you, but it is you and your actions alone on which everything depends. Soon we will meet again in the torture chamber. Well, I don't, I don't want to go to the torture chamber. Well, screw what we think, right? <laughs> so, uh, here we are, we're playing a game, and... Oh, it seems like stuff we can interact with are... Are kind of highlighted as is. Like, there's no, like, button I can press to do, like, a hotspot or anything. So, uh... Well, let's see, what, what was... This is glowing. What the hell do you have in your mouth? The raven arrived with something in its beak. It's a small metal plate of some sort. And this must be our inventory? Yep. And rusty plate. Uh, oh, can I grab it? I could. 
Bird hit, him, hit himself here from the meteor storm. Okay. Alrighty. The sky is shedding tears of fire. I'm mean, seriously, is like the end of the world happening right now? The first screen in the game, and it looks insane already. What is this? Could it be that one of my prede predecessors tried to leave me some kind of message? Oh, ready? And here's a notepad? What? Oh, holy crap. That's actually pretty insane. He writes down notes, uh, I guess, which will help us in future puzzles, I'm assuming. All right. Scratches on a wall. Apparently someone's counting the days they spent in the cell. Ugh. Oh, there goes your head. And, oh, can I... Oh, no, now I have to get it out somehow. Oh, I probably can't reach it. I can't reach it. I need something along to get it. Oh, great. All right, I don't think that rusty plate's gonna work. I hope I won't meet a similar fate. Well, if we put our heads together, I'm sure it won't. Uh... Oh, I hope you didn't need that. I picked up the skeleton's forearm. Who knows? It might come in useful. Like, oh, I don't know, possibly reaching and grabbing in, grabbing something? Let's see here. How the hell is it even supposed to work? I mean... I fish out a crystal eye. It emits a red light. Now, to me, it would seem that... That would be kind of hard to do. Like, wouldn't the hand have to be, like... Gra like, cupping or grasping as is? But... I'm sure he manipulated it somehow. Okay, what is this? The cover is screwed tight. I can't open it. Let's see. Some kind of tool to unscrew this. I guess the plate? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure enough. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap. Puzzles. All right, so we got... I want to see what we got. We got a couple... Two small blue ones, two big red one, two big blue ones, and also a red one. And I can see from here that... We have to use blue on these. Oh, it's obviously, so this is that. Uh, use this. Okay, so far so good. Nope, nope, too far. Uh, oh wait, I think I, I think it did it. Nice, <laughs> it worked. It was a rather primitive mechanism after all. Cool. All right, pretty simple puzzle. Color coding really helped. The bars have risen. Here's my something. Like, get out of here. I don't know. Uh, ooh. A guillotine? I found a piece of a mirror. Odd. But okay. Let's get the hell out. Like this. This right here. I think I'm gonna fall in love with this game just solely based on the art. This is beautiful. And, well, beautiful, but you see, like, very macabre, like, backgrounds and everything, but, like, it's just designed really nice. Eyes so I can see. Heart so I can feel. Light to dispel the darkness. The Stone Angel will show you the way if you meet these three conditions. So, I guess they all say the same thing. Eyes, heart, and light. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, something down here. Extinguished candle, and we have one that's already lit. And oh, can I pick this up? Nice. Okay. Oh, there we go. Everything's lit. The candles light the angel statue. Nice. So that was the light. Um, there's a mirror. I should find all the missing pieces of the mirror. I feel it somehow linked to an angel statue. Okay, well, we have one. Uh, it looks like we might have like three or four more to go. All right, actually, there's one right here. Screw it. <laughs> Easy. And okay, so we can manipulate this mirror as well. I'm assuming we can do the same thing here once we have all the pieces. The wings appear to be part of a large mechanism. It won't budge, so we probably have to have everything there. And the place for the heart is empty. So we gotta find a heart or something similar to it. And up here, oh god. The skull's eye socket is empty. We did pick up a crystal eye. Does this work? Alright. I think we just need another one here, because I don't know why I'm looking at this hole right here. I was like, that can't be an eye socket. It just could be a hole in the skeleton. Whatever. 
All right, I guess is that I think that's all we can do right now. Oh wait, well we can put in the other piece of the mirror. There we go. And I don't think I see anything else to interact with. Let's just continue on. Whoa. Okay, apparently I can't go any further, and this is like the all the way to the right so far. First off, I do see a mirror. Grab that. I think I saw another one to the right. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's all the mirror pieces. Good. Whoa. That's good. Now... Oh, something's going back here. What the... Easy enough. And that's a... What is that? Stone heart. Someone clearly made an effort to hide it. They made an effort. I wouldn't say a very good one because it was kind of visible. Nothing else here. And, oh, there's the other eye. I can see a shiny object at the bottom of the well. I only hope if only I could raise the water level. Now, actually, this just like in our cell, we saw that. Here we go. So some of them have to be risen. Some don't. Second, and then the last two. So this this one, and then these two do not have to go down. And actually, oh, you know what's interesting? These have holes underneath them too, so it lets you know that they have to go down. And this one was marked according to the, the map, right? Oh, this one was marked, so... Do we have to start with that, or...? Okay... Oh! Why the hell that one go up? Ah... Uh. Okay, and I do see... I do see something here. It seems like... Yeah, it's an, it, we gotta do it in an order. And if we mess up, then they kind of revert back. There we go! Crystal Eye. So, we have... I think we did everything so far. We have the Stone Heart, the other, the other Red Eye, and the other pieces of the mirror. So I think we're done so far <clears throat> with this puzzle. Mirror's not complete. Let's go ahead and put on the Heart as well. The stone heart is a, has started a pulse of red light. Okay. And finally, let's put on the red eye. Crystal eyes have sunk into the skull's eye socket. Ooh, and now there's... light. And we can manipulate the light. Uh-huh. Now we gotta figure out a way to... Actually, I don't know. What the hell am I even supposed to do here? Which is... Oh, what? The beam forms a symbol. The ground begins to shake. The statue sinks to the ground. What the hell did that even do? Oh, I think I, I made that, um... Did I make a star? I didn't even realize that. Well, I was, try I was trying to just make this... A, a beam of light even hit this, this mirror, because nothing was even hitting it. Okay. So far, so good. I'm actually surprised with myself. Uh, there seems to be something missing here, and these actually look like the rusty plates. So, in you go. It fits. This piece of metal was part of this mechanism. Uh, oh, they all have to match up. Based on, like, kind of, if you want to say, like, the teeth or whatever of the uh, mechanism. So... Hopefully this won't be too bad. These two, that... Does this line up? I guess, it's like, I was a little worried, because this seems a little too narrow for that, but... I don't think nothing, anything, I don't think anything else is going to fit there. Uh... Is that it? Huh. Yeah, sorry, guys. I, I might... I don't know why the hell is... No, what the hell am I doing? What am I doing? No, I ain't not... That's not... That's not it. Huh. So I know these two and this so far, I believe, is correct. Uh... I'm assuming once we get it, 
it will tell us. Like, okay, you... It's all good. Hmm. I'm also looking at the blood... If you want to even say, like, the blood splatter, I don't even know if those are even supposed to go together as well. Uh, what the crap, wait a minute. Some of the stuff isn't even looking right anymore. Okay. These two... Or actually, these three, maybe. And this one might go together so far. Um... I'm assuming once we get it, it'll, like, it'll come down, like, or it'll sink in properly. <sighs> Why does this look weird to me? Okay, wait, that looks okay. No? Dang it. No, what the hell am I even gonna do here though? <laughs> hmm. Oh crap. I don't know why the hell I'm already stumped. I know I know this must be an easy puzzle, but why the hell is it not like clicking in my head? You know guys, let me meet you guys back when I actually get this one. I, this one. I'm obviously missing something simple. Sorry, I'll be right back. Yeah, I think I almost got it now. I was... I don't know why the hell I thought one of these other pieces went right here. It doesn't even line up right, so... This is... I, so I think this goes here. There we go! Metal pieces interlocked. The altar door should now open. Holy crap. That was... Well, that was stupid of me. I don't know why I thought that that, that would fit. Steel, block, steel bars blocked away. I came. I won't be able to go back that way. Well, I, that might be a good thing. We're getting further. Uh, what? Nothing here? Completely destroyed. I see a wall covered in mysterious symbols through the openings. And I see that... Oh. So, oh, it kind of like interact depending on where we go. So we go all the way to the left. We get that symbol. It kind of looks like a sideways power button. We go all the way to the right, we get a couple more. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, what are they even attached to? Oh, I found a skull covered in mysterious ornamenta ornamentation. Okay. I see, oh, actually, I do see this. Oh, well, these are the symbols we saw. Okay, uh, let's... This will be in order then. So I know we know the third one is that sideways power button. Then I guess in order we got triangle, sideways F, and I don't even know what you want to say about that one. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so we got triangle, uh, F, power button, and the other one. Okay, symbol, the symbol order is correct, but the device has started. But someone must have removed the lever from this device. Without it, there's not much I can do. Fudge! Okay, um... We need a lever. And I don't think we... We only have a skull. Actually, we have this. The skeleton's covered with mysterious signs, and we do have a skull that has weird designs on it. The skull has, has some kind of markings as a headless skeleton. So who took off this skeleton's head and or skull and put it on this one? If it, it let's just say it originally belongs to this guy. Uh is that it? I don't have a I don't have a lever, so let's just continue on. Whoa. God, you can just stare at this game for Just stare. Don't don't even have to play. This is insane. It is easier for a thousand crows to fly through a fiery mountain than it is for you to pass safely through my entrails, wretched human. That's kind of disgusting. My gates are shut to the sinful of it for eternity. Be gone! Well, crap, I can't go past him. Well, that's just nice. What is this? A hole of an unusual shape. I don't have anything like that either. And... I don't... What is this, actually? The ground seems less sturdy here. Okay. 
have nothing to do anything though. Let's keep going. Oh, oh, hey, it's our prisoner friend. I didn't expect to meet meet again. How did you manage to escape? I may be asking for t for too much, but if you can help me get out of here, I can give you something to make your escape from this castle easier. There's a lever behind me. You should be able to lower my cage with it. It's impossible to get near it uh, near to it at the moment. Uh, that is because there's a creature lurking in a pit nearby. You have to get rid of that abomination first. I believe a good way to go about it would be to feed it poisoned food. Somewhere in the castle sh there should be a kitchen. Please find it and prepare the poison. Only you, only then can you lower my cage. Think about it. I assure you, it will be worth your while. Well, wait, why do you even know so much about the castle? Huh. Whatever. Um. Actually, oh, is this a lever? Perfect. Rusty lever. Taking that. Oh, holy crap. A dangerous creature. Better stay away from it. That is kind of frightening, actually. And we can't get any close. Actually, oh, see, there's like a little lock symbol here, so... Say so we can't go there. I can't manipulate this lever with him there, so I think we found all we, all we could do here. But we did pick up the lever, so we're making some progress. So let's go back here. Uh, put, put on the lever here. Yes. Oh! I'll pull it and see what happens. This turned on. Here we go. What? Even? What? How? Why can't I move? Why can't I feel anything? This damned place has taken everything I ever had from me. My memories, my body, all gone. All that remains is a sense of overwhelming guilt. What have I done to deserve such a miserable fate? I remember a big flying machine, a cold cell, and sculpted hands. I managed to escape. I wandered around the castle, and then there was only pain. Never-ending pain. They must have finally got me. I am beyond help, but I have something that may help you. Please, take this key. It was not easy to get, but I have no use for it anymore. Oh. Thank you. The mysterious being gave me a stone key, and that's, it looks... Yeah, it's shaped just like that thing right in the middle. With that big guy there. Oh, crap. It's just a pile of bones now. And I can't pull the lever, so we got what we needed from him. And from you, I guess we're going to unlock this. The key I received from the inspector has proven useful. How would you get a key from a ghost or a specter? Who cares? Oh, that looks like another puzzle. <laughs> it definitely... Oh. Okay. Okay, so... We got like a pink-red orb or... Magenta, what actually... Whatever. We got that color orb and a green orb. I guess the lines have to... They have to end up coming to both sides. With something like this, I tend to like um, focusing on one color first. So I'm going to start with this red pink one first, whatever. I, I know I'll call this so many other colors. It looks like the only way it's actually going to be going is like in a circle, kind of, from what I can see. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I go here. Okay, so from what I understand, I have that going properly, but I still need the green now. Alright, we can do that actually. Oh crap. This one, I will keep working. Here. No. That ain't right. Actually, that, that, okay, well, hold on, that might be right. Oh, wait, you just flip this. Actually, it looks like it's forming a symbol. Kind of like that star symbol we saw in the, uh, in that angel statue. There you go. I see that connected the tiles properly. Okay. Ooh, wait. Something to pick up. I found a half of a stone medallion. There's some kind of design engraved on it. Can I... 
I guess I can't really look at it more. Oh well. We got half of Stone Medallion though. And I love we said you will never go through the entrails of that thing. Be gone. Blah blah blah. And we solved it in not even five minutes. The statues are separated now. I see a hall of a throne in the middle. Hmm. Okay, but I say for the time being, we'll go ahead and call it an episode. I think we did quite a bit already, and uh, really not too many hiccups besides that metal piece thing. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me there, but uh, we're making progress regardless. So I'm and just look at this imagery, ladies and gentlemen, and look at everything. It's insane. I can. I'm actually excited to see what else this game has in store, solely based on the art. God, I'm like, I'm like so falling in love with it. It's insane. Regardless, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Tormentum: Dark Sorrow. Dark Sorrow. Excuse me. I'll see you guys later.